It's probably algorithms. I can't remember who's, who it's by. It's a textbook of algorithms. It's fabulous. Lots of formal theory. Um, yeah, that's a terrible sign check question. <laughs> So before we start, um, have you got a favourite computer science book or a book that you, uh, you know, just so I can get the levels right? Okay. Um, of course, the best book would be about human-computer interaction and research methods for understanding how software helps people rather than like how to build software. Fair enough. Build it right. Build it right. Okay. What's your favourite computer science book? So doesn't have to be specifically computer science, but maybe that relates in some way. Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, one of the first computer science books I liked, I, I don't want to rank them in order, but the first one I liked was on advanced algorithms, something that I don't do anymore, but um, it was the first thing that really excited me, it got me into computer science. When I found a book that does an undergraduate course at the right sort of level, and Andrew Tannenbaum, you know, from Friar University in uh, Holland writes very good books. And certainly the stuff of Brian's, Brian's history and memoir of Unix I've greatly enjoyed. But in some ways, this is more general. And I, I would certainly put it on my top Short shelf. Oh, no, top shelf. Accessible Shortlist. shelf. Short. Shortlisted. Shortlisted, yes. Soundcheck question then. Favourite computer science book? At the moment, my favourite book is Understanding Cryptography by Christoph Parr and Jan Pelzel. Wonderful book about cryptography, I've been using it to teach, but it, it's that, for me, it's that nice combination of practical, interesting how this actually works and a bit of maths in there. Not too much maths, because then I get scared off. <laughs> um, Viewers, if this one looks crap, it's because Sean has got a new camera and he doesn't know how to use it. It's, it's true, it's far too Any true. more? <laughs> There's some great stuff going on the screen, but I don't know what any of it means. What is it? Touching? It may even have image stabilisation. Uh, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> there's, there's very few computer books that I would list all my Go on, favorite what's, books. What's your favorite book then? Pride and Prejudice. Okay. There was no hesitation there whatsoever. No. Fantastic. All right. I mean, this changes over the years, so, yeah. Well, for me, I was say, saying to a few people that I think it depends on which week you ask me, ask uh. me the question, because it would be different. I recently got right into books through Audible, so I've read about 300 in the past four years. Oh, there are some bangers in there, which do I like? Um, a bit of medical drama, things like Bad Blood, about Theranos and Elizabeth Holmes, that was a very good book. There's a book about the Sackler family. But anyway, uh, also, um, for some reason, you can't help what you like, 1960s, um, sort of Soviet era, spying. Things like uh, Kim Philby, um, Ben McIntyre writes a lot of books. Don't know why I liked it so much, but yeah, it's um, it must be pretty tense getting in a sticky situation as a spy, mustn't it? Yeah. Like every day, uh, and yeah, now... Yeah. And who do you believe, who do you trust? All that stuff is crazy. Just so I can check the mics working, what's your favourite book? My favourite book is, uh, I think it's called in English, The Glass Marble Game by uh, Hermann Hesse. Uh, Hermann Hesse, okay, I should check that out. Yes, it's a really good fun book about uh, sort of the relationship between academia and the real world. Um, for all it's been written in the 1930s, I think, it's still quite relevant. Do you have one? I'll tell you the book I've read recently that I liked the most, and that was a book called Spy Game by William Buckley, and it's based on the life of a very famous counterintelligence officer in the CIA, known as James Jesus Angleton. Uh, and it was, it's a quite well-written book, although Angleton basically only appears in half the book. But I would recommend that to anyone if they're, uh, if they're looking for a favourite book, for a book to read. It doesn't have to be computer science, it could be anything, it could be a novel, it could, be a, it could be the dictionary, I don't mind, whatever it is. What's your favourite book? Uh, that's a tough question, but it may have to be House of Sleep by Jonathan Coe. Okay, what's it about? Is it a novel, is it? Yeah, it's a novel about, yeah, it's a novel, a work of fiction about, uh, uh, the incipit of the story is about a group of people that, uh, so there's like a study about a group of people that cannot sleep and uh, they put them together, but it's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, human introspection and I don't want to spoil too much, but that's, I, I think it's a, also a lovely way of writing and I was so engaged with it and yeah. I very rarely read for pleasure because I tend to read quite a lot for my job. Same. And so I find I do other things like coding and stuff, for better or worse, uh, I can read. Um, I, I do like a John Grisham. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Bit of lawyers and yeah, you know lawyers. murders and stuff. Hey, just to check the microphone's working then, um, yeah. what's your favourite book? Um, so my favourite book is uh, The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North, a uh, contemporary British uh, writer. Shall I tell you what, what it's about? Yeah, tell me, go yeah. On, give, us a, give us a one So I um, don't want to spoil it too much for people who, who still want to read it. I, it's highly recommended. So I'm not spoiling it by telling you that um, the protagonist is one of the people who can relive their life over and over again while remembering the previous lives. Um, and if it sounds very philosophical, it's, it's not. It's actually this um, premise leads to very interesting science fiction -y and uh, um, a kind of psychological uh, right implications. Like every life would be slightly different. Um, and what happens to the knowledge that he acquired before and how does he use this knowledge? Um, anyway, highly recommend it. What's your, just checking the microphone's working, what's your favourite book? Uh, favourite book, I, well, the one I've read the most often. Let's, get, let's, get, let's give the intellectual answer pretend I actually know what I'm talking about, which is I really like Thucydides' history of the uh, Athenian and Spartan War, mostly because it has things like a description of a tsunami in there. Uh, 500 BC, something that I didn't understand existed until 2010. All right, so uh, just to check the mic's working, uh, okay. what is your favourite book? I I'd say um, Gerd Lesher and Bark by Douglas Hofstadter, which is, yeah, I think you're, you're smiling like you've heard this answer is, probably is it, several times. Is it, no, this is off piste for me, go on. Oh, uh, well, okay, it's an absolute classic. It's, it's old now, I think it was the 70s or 80s. You caught me a little by surprise with the question, but um, it's a really imaginative, playful look at what is AI in the sense of general intelligence before AI just became a whole bunch of neural networks talking to each other. What might it mean to think? It's absolutely wonderful and it's, actually, it's really comic. Um, so it's, it's funny, intelligent, very worth reading if computer science is your thing. My name is Perla Magnolino. My favorite book is uh, Alice in Wonderland. Ah, very good, very good. Okay. So tell me your name and tell me what your favorite book is in computer science then. My name is Marco Camurri and my favorite book in computer science is uh, um, Modern Effective C++. My favorite book, that's, uh, uh, that's not an easy one. I've got a few, a few books that I particularly enjoyed reading. But uh, one book that I've really enjoyed lately was uh, it's not actually a book, it's a, it's, it's a series of five books, if I remember correctly, by Martha Wells. The first one is called All Systems Red, and uh, it's about a robot in the future, uh, a security bot to be more precise, that uh, somehow manages to uh, override its uh, governor, which is like a, a sort of module that uh, guides its behavior. And what is your favourite book? My favourite book is uh, a book called Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Very good book. The Shrike. The Shrike. Scary monsters. Yeah. 